Okay, what next? Uh, Sto show. Oh, this is a good one parts. here. And this one, uh, okay, this is from Michael Diramid. I think this is the most important question of them all. Do you have bacon? Do we have bacon? Does that sound like kind of code word for something that I don't understand in like pop no, culture? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, it is. Bad. It's code word for, for a bad. piece of smoked pork. Is that what it is? It's just yeah. a regular bacon. It's not yeah, like bacon. Okay, something inappropriate. So do we? No, no. But right. do we have bacon? Uh, we don't have bacon per se, but we have little bits of bacon sprinkled in this dish with green beans. So what you really want is you want to eat the bacon. But in order to get to the bacon, which is what you really want, you have to eat the green bean. Can't flick those away? No, there's too many of them. Is this a little piece of bacon? Yeah, just little bits. little bits of bacon. So, you, so you'd have to flick away, you know, 20 chunks of green bean in order to get one little piece of bacon. So this is bacon. a problem, no bacon. No bacon. We have sausage patties. We do. We do. We do have sausage right. patties. But no bacon. No bacon. Well, but, Why don't we have but bacon? With the, with the, with the green those beans. Those don't count. I mean, like strips of bacon. How, do, how come we don't have strips of bacon? I don't know. I mean, because uh, probably, I don't know why neither. What the heck? <laughs> okay, next question. Let's get on this. <laughs> okay, what okay, else? What, what is, no bacon, that's terrible. All right, what is Robonaut doing all the time? What is that Robonaut? Were you up there with Robonaut? Oh yeah, yeah, we were you up were? there with Robonaut. We are learning the ins and outs, the engineering operations of having a robot that's basically commanded from Earth, mm -hmm. but he's up on station. So the crew just sets Robonaut up yeah. and makes sure everything is okay, but all the commanding currently is coming from mission control. Okay. And, and there are issues with that in terms of the time delays and things right. like that. And so we're working all of these little nuances out in terms of how to really run Robonaut and we're taking small steps and and we are making headway in terms of how do you operate robotics with human-like arms and human-like capabilities how do you operate those robotics from a distance mm -hmm. but what does he do what is this actually this comes from Torsten Hahn. Oh, well one of the what things that, what do you what do you have that what, what well, is that? We have thing a doing measuring air velocities next to the ventilator ducts. So we, we have this little machine, it's a hot wire anemometer mm -hmm. that can measure air velocity based on how quickly a little tiny wire gets cool. Mm -hmm. right? You have a little right. wire that's heated yep. and it, it operates at a certain temperature, and if air flows by, then it gets cool and the rate of cooling is proportional, proportional to the to airflow, and so you can determine the airflow. And so we have a hot wire anemometer on station. It's a built into this little box, and we have Robonaut holding that up to a ventilator grill, which is an airflow outlet, yeah. and, and we need to know how many cubic meters of air mm -hmm. flowing out of the thing to see whether the air system is working correctly. So periodically we measure that. We have to make maybe 20 measurements across the area of this grill. And so we have Robonaut holding the, mm -hmm. uh, the hot wire anemometer right. and, and moving it it it. around this grill. To what did you do before you had Robonaut? You had to do it? Yeah, we had to do it. Are you kidding, really? You'd sit there, stand there? Yeah, and, yeah. We, and, and we have a lot of grills on station. It might take a couple hours to do all the airflow measurements yeah. on station. So you got Robonaut doing it. Well, we have Robonaut. We're, we're in the process of figuring out how to have a human-like robot do tasks like this. So he does it or he doesn't? Uh, Don't make this up now, this is serious. No, he, uh, we, we are learning how to do it. So right now... Right, so we're learning how to do it. Yeah, so right now, Robonaut can't float around station and, and do all his stuff right. for, for a human being. Yeah. So, so he's, so so we, he's learning. So we have, so, so we're, you know, not Robonaut is learning how to do it. The people on the ground are learning how to make Robonaut do yeah. it. But right now, it's not at the point where Robonaut can just float around station and make the measurements for or on the crew. All right. Hey, is there a coffee pot anywhere here on this floor? Do we have access to? Listen to this. Has every, uh, this comes from Thorsten again. He says here, has every astronaut a personal satellite assistant? A personal satellite, what does that mean? I don't, I don't know what that but means. But it sounds like something I want. Personal satellite assistant. I have no idea what it is. Assistant. Maybe, well, we, uh, we have crew secretaries. 
maybe that's a personal satellite assistant. Uh, we have people that help us schedule our training. Right. Um, once we get on orbit, we have people that build the timeline on mm -hmm. this OSTPV uh, program yeah. that tells us uh, what we should be doing. Right. Uh, so maybe we could consider that a personal right. satellite assistant. All right. Uh, Corey Roberts, uh, what are your favorite games to play when you have spare time? Oh, well. So this is like a space thing. So what was your, maybe you can say your okay, games in well, space. Let me first correct you. Spare ahead. time is not the right way to describe it. You're either on duty or off duty. Mm -hmm. And and off duty has the connotation that you're still partly working on your tasks. And, and that's typical mm -hmm. of what you find when you're on a vessel, whether it's a, a submarine or a ship or, or whatever. Uh, you could be on duty and then you could be off duty. And if you're off duty, you could be called on duty at any time. And, and it isn't like you just have free time. So, so that's one thing. So what do we do when we are off duty is probably the better way to phrase okay. it. Okay. What do you do and what do you like to do when you're off duty? Well, uh, take pictures. Okay. You, that's what you do. Yeah, that's yeah. what you do. And, and right. I like to focus on things off duty pastimes that you can't do when you're on Earth. Mm -hmm. And that's just me. Some people like to do, you know, whatever can help rebuild their energy state so that the next day they can jump into it and, and get, a, get good hard work done. Uh, so whatever you need to do to right. rebuild your energy state and get right. ready for the next day is, uh, is what you should so do. A, so maybe like a good, so looking out the window, which is what I like to do in my spare time up there and taking photos, which is what you like yeah. to do, um, uh, looking out the window, that's something you know, only do there. You can you can send emails to your friends. Right. That's you important. Can, you do that. You, you can send. You can get on the internet phone as long talk as talk to have, your family. As Very long important. as you have KU band coverage, which goes through the TDRS satellite right. system, and you don't have that all the time. Mm -hmm. But if you have KU band coverage, we can we can dial out on the internet phone. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, so, so there's lots of things that you can do. Mm -hmm. You can bring a musical instrument, you can play it. You brought the, uh, what'd you bring? The a didgeridoo. A didgeridoo. Yes. You made it up there though. Well, oh, I made one from did the vacuum cleaner one? hose. Okay, all right. That uh, wraps up for this episode. That's it. But stay tuned, there will be more. And thanks everyone for tweeting in their questions. Great questions, thank you. Keep them coming. <laughs>